But I get to meet the baby soon, so I'm happy. Today on Montana Dana, I finally get a vacuum for the van, get to meet and hold this little bundle of sweetness, and then my Aunt Debbie tells me how she really feels about me. Give this video a thumbs up, it really helps support my channel. Good morning, my beautiful friends. <sighs> Door reveal. Ooh, the sky is pretty this morning. It's been storming a lot lately, and it's finally like a really nice calm morning. I've been laying in bed for like an hour and a half. I'm not a morning person, but I keep waking up at 4.30. My days are like jam-packed, and I'm just exhausted by the end of the day, so I fall asleep at like 9.30. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a walk first thing with the bod. Gonna get coffee and just enjoy Palm Springs. I have family coming into town today and I'm either going to head to Quartzsite soon or San Diego. I'm thinking about going to Mexico, maybe. I have to make sure I'm gonna have internet connection though to make that happen. Oh, look how moody the sky is. Like cotton candy skies already this morning. It's a little bit chilly this morning. My coffee's already cold. Nothing a little coffee can't fix. I've got two looks. Homeless person who lost their job as a construction worker or I totally forgot to film the transition after clip of this, but it was supposed to say Van Life Barbie or something along those lines. I just cleaned up, but <laughs> I found this much hair on my floor. I'm going to vomit. I am driving right now to Walmart to get a vacuum and possibly get a Camp Chef stovetop. I need to wash out my coffee mugs because cold coffee is the bane of my existence. And this is like, mm -mm. cold coffee, lukewarm coffee, it's not the life for me. Ugh, there's so much hair everywhere. That's the biggest boyfriend complaint I have is they're like, oh, your hair is everywhere always. <laughs> Sorry. I used to wrap tape inside out around my hand and just like go over the surfaces with it. That was kind of a good system. Do any of you have that problem though? Thick hair problems. And each strand is like dental floss. I have very thick hair. It's like a horse. Maybe I should use that horse mane and tail shampoo. Have you guys seen that? I think Walmart has that. That's some like country girl shit right there. So I'm gonna just, instead of setting up right now, I'm gonna go in drive mode and head to Walmart. Getting into drive mode used to be such a pain in the ass because I had to take all my clothes off the rack and all that, but since I've fastened everything down, sorry, I was just digging hair out of the crystals on my piano. Definitely need a vacuum. Anyway, to get into drive mode, I just take my ukulele off, shove it in my pillow, and then I take this pillow and scooch it over here behind my guitars like so. And then I take this pillow and put it in between my guitars like so. We're getting a system down, guys. So exciting. But seriously though, I'm like pulling hair out of the rug on my door. It'll be so nice to have a vacuum too. When I put this down, it gets dust and dirt on it and that's fine when it's my back porch, but when it's my fourth wall, it's not quite as nice. I need to like figure out a little pillow for my microphone. I mean, this hat's gonna get very dirty, but I'd rather a dirty hat than a broken microphone. All right, let's go to Walmart. Well, that was a big dumb, dumb move on my part. That was a Walmart neighborhood market. So I got a few groceries and I'm heading to a different Walmart. Superstore. A superstore should have camping gear and a vacuum, God willing. I'm driving a little ways. I should have just gone to Target. Everything's more expensive at Target, but the amount of gas I'm gonna spend to find a Walmart, it's probably about the same. I don't think Target has much camping gear either, so. All right, let's try this again. That's the one we're looking for. This charges off of USB. I wonder if that's a good idea or not. The charge off the Jackery. I'm trying to find a 12 volt one that will go in the car. <laughs> I'm trying to record my song. <laughs> there are four landscaping crews on this street today. So we're gonna go park in an abandoned parking lot somewhere. <sighs> Peace and quiet. That's nice. So I'm in Palm Springs because my dad and my aunt were supposed to fly in, but we got they got 18 inches of snow, big storm. So I was gonna leave, but then my cousins decided to come into town. So I'm waiting to see them tonight and I'll probably head out tomorrow or the next day, we'll see. Depends on weather, because there's lots of storms happening. So my mom used to put this braid in my hair that started on this side and went all the way over. So we're 
kind of going with that vibe today. We're featuring a few grays up here, which is fun. Cute, it's a good look. I'm gonna park where there's pavement because I don't want a bunch of sand flying in my windows. Like I want to keep my windows cracked a little bit. Oh, the joys of camp life. I would love to have a shuttle bus with windows so I don't always have to have my doors open to get natural light someday. I wasn't looking at TikTok and driving, but if I was, I would have happened to notice that one of my videos is almost to 100,000 views. What? I've only been ticking and talking for about uh, two, and a, two and a half weeks or so. It's actually a little insane that I have 100,000 views on a video. And I almost have 4,000 followers over there, so. If you're a ticker and you're a talker, go check it out. It's just Montana Dana on everything. Montana Dana on Insta, Montana Dana on TikTok. That's pretty exciting. Basically what I'm doing is taking these vlogs and condensing them into like a cute little video, so. It's gonna be a gloomy next couple days. So I'm looking at the weather. I'm trying to decide if I'm going over to Quartzsite or if I'm gonna go to San Diego and maybe uh, Baja. I've never been to Mexico. My Aunt Debbie says it's really sketchy and dangerous right now, but there are a lot of van life people there. And one of my good friends is going, so I might meet up with them there. I just don't know if I'll have internet. That's the main thing. Or else I totally would go. Decisions, decisions, so many van life decisions. But I'm just editing a TikTok video, putting it up, and I'm really excited though, because I get to meet a cousin of mine, or my, it's my cousin's baby. She just had a baby in November, saw them for Thanksgiving, but I haven't met the new baby, so I'm excited to see the little kiddos today. TikTok is done. I'm actually gonna head back to my aunt and uncle's house, because my aunt Debbie texted me. She's like, do you want some homemade split pea soup? And I'm like, yes, yes I do, in fact. And my family should be here pretty soon, so hopefully, landscapers are done doing their magic. It's really nice having family nearby. Like I've seen my aunt and uncle more this year than I have probably in the last 20. And they're kind of like, is she ever gonna leave? And yes, I'm gonna leave tomorrow, but it's just really nice. It's just getting to be where I wanna be when I wanna be there. Aunt Debbie made some delicious split pea soup. I thought I did not like split pea soup because I remember sitting at the table refusing to eat it as a child, but it was delicious. So nice to come back to a clean, a cozy place. My family's here soon. Oh, air. I've just been working in the dark. It's kind of nice to get some fresh air. It's just been a cruddy day. I really want to go to, so one of you suggested it actually. It's like a palm tree nature preserve of some kind. That will be a tomorrow type of thing. And tomorrow's supposed to rain all day, but I might go anyway. I mean, I survived in rainy Galway for three months and I walked everywhere. This is a bit of a different adventure for me because I'm in the suburban. <gasps> Speaking of my shitty suburban. The security system's going off, but I don't have a horn. The horn does not work, but there's 160,000 miles on this bad boy. I mean, she's running pretty good considering, but I felt a lot more adventurous in my sprinter van because I knew it wouldn't break down on me every second. So I'm a little nervous to travel. I'm not going to lie and like go out on a hike somewhere and be stuck like at the trailhead. I don't know. It's just a little unnerving. So I guess I'm a little more timid this time around, I'd say. But maybe there's opportunity in that. Maybe I can figure out how to explore in the cities a little more. And I think caravanning with other people would be a wise decision because we all help each other out if you get stranded you're not completely alone so i don't know i'm tempted to go to mexico if videos don't upload for a week or two that is just because i don't have internet in mexico hopefully that won't happen but you just yeah just never know anyway i'm so excited to meet the baby uh it's a top ramen type of day it's cloudy and dreary outside but i get to meet the baby soon so i'm happy this is us eating dinner and i just wanted to put my phone away and spend some much needed time with my family but how cute are these babies oh my gosh they're so adorable i only get to see them once a year and i got to hold the new baby she's so so precious i got a really good bicep workout holding her for like an hour and then i couldn't believe it but the smaller boy remembered my name from thanksgiving <laughs> he remembered my name anyway i'm just at the casino with aunt debbie having a good old time I wandered around the casino for a little bit. I don't know why I didn't vlog it, but there's a store that sells really cute hats and I've bought two cute hats there before, but I went in and the only one that I liked was like 80 bucks. So that's not happening. I think there's some live music happening somewhere. I thought there was live music out here, but not tonight. I'm not a big gambler. I don't know. It's not my thing. <laughs> Momager. 
wouldn't be my sweet Aunt Deborah giving me the middle finger now, would it? Yes, yes, that's exactly what that was. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. But anyway, I'm back in the van, back in my Walmart tuxedo. Ah, oh, it was a good day. It was such a good day. I got to spend a lot of family time. I don't get to see that side of my family very often, so it was really nice. Yeah, this is probably a really short vlog today. I don't really know what I did. I spent a lot of my filming time doing my TikTok. So yeah, kind of a short day today. I planned on doing a hike and it's just, it's been cruddy weather. So it's very, like it's a very different type of van life when it's not like good weather. When I was doing van life, it was between March and like November. So longer days, more sunlight, better weather. So looking forward to the days when I can adventure more, but hey, this is my everyday life and I appreciate you joining me. If you made it this far in the video, tell me in the comments if you think I should go to Mexico yay or nay do you think that sounds like a fun time or is it too scary right now i don't know i don't watch the news i don't pay attention to news or politics at all my friend drew is going and i know a lot of van life people are there right now so could be fun and not even should i go but would you go to mexico right now would you go to baja and hang out for a couple weeks let me know in the comments below and that's it for today's video if you'd like to give it a thumbs up if you loved it share it with your friends we'll see you tomorrow